there, welcome to Cleaning and Organizing with Tracy. Today I'm going to bring you into my office and show you how I organize my household files. Now there are lots of filing systems out there and some of them are pretty confusing, but I like to keep things simple, so I'm going to show you what I do. Are you ready to get organized? Let's do it. In my filing system I have four major categories. I have my household file, my reference file, my critical file, and I also have a filing cabinet with my memories. So those are my four major categories that I use for my filing system. The top drawer in my filing system is my household file. This is the file that I use the most. It's the largest. Um, as you can see, it's color coded. Color coding is really important. It not only makes things look really pretty, which I love, of course, it looks beautiful, but it helps you to be able to find things easily and quickly. So it's really important to color code if you're gonna use this system. Now you can find hanging files just about anywhere, but you wanna buy them kind of in bulk. You're gonna use a lot of them. So you wanna get the bigger boxes of them, which you can get at any office supply store. You can also get things on Amazon. As always, I love Amazon. But you wanna buy some hanging colored files. As you can see, all of my labels are off to one side, except for just a few down the middle. The ones in the middle are the titles of each category, so it makes it really easy to see what you're looking for. Um, I create each tab with it using my label maker, so things look neat. I have horrible writing, but I think in most cases, it just looks it just looks much neater if you use a label maker. Now, if you're starting from scratch though and have tons of tabs to create, I suggest you get the Avery WorkSaver tab inserts. This way you can type everything up on your computer quickly and easily, and you can print everything out all at one time. That would save a lot of time if you're just starting out. So what do you keep in your household file? Now every household is different, so everything is going to be a little different for each family, but there's a few major categories that I think most of us will have. Um, the first section I have is for A is um, it's yellow and it's auto. This is where I list all of my automobiles, if you have multiple vehicles, inside each of their folders I keep the title, any information I may need if I'm going to sell, anything you would need for your vehicles you would keep in your yellow section. I also keep DMV information. If you get a speeding ticket, which I've gotten a couple, you want to keep your traffic school um, certificates and information in this yellow section. Now my green section I have is my financial section and unfortunately we all have finances so everybody should have a green section. In here I keep all of my banking statements. I also keep my investments and insurances. Um, I also keep taxes for this current year, only for the year, um, you know, for the current year. All of this file is current. At the end of the year, you pull things out and you archive them, and I'll talk about that later. But um, for now, you would just, anything that comes in the mail that you may need when you meet with your tax advisor or when you put together your taxes at the end of the year, you want to throw into that file and have it all gathered together. Um, I also have a home improvement section in blue. Anytime we get the sprinklers fixed or the roofing, the roof is leaking or any repairs to my home or major receipts. I want to keep in this file so I can refer back to it if something happens. You know, you just need to keep those, that information and it's nice to have them all together, easily, to, easily accessible and easy to find. Um, we all have medical information. So the current medical information for your family I have in another section. I have products and warranties um, also in this file. Any major appliances or TVs, cameras, computers, anything major that we have, I keep the warranties along with the receipts in their own file. Again, it's really simple and it's easy to find when I'm looking for it. So those are just a few things that I have in my household file. Now I don't keep any of my bills or utility statements in my household file. Because we have the internet, most of that information we can just find online. We don't nearly 
have as much paperwork as we used to have. Most of the bills that we get, we can pay online and they're paperless. They don't even send us paperwork. So the, for the few statements um, that I do have, I just throw them on a paper sorter that I keep on my desk. Sometimes it's called a literature sorter, but we have so many things coming in the mail like that and I don't wanna take the time to tediously file all of that paperwork. We only need it for a short time. So in December, I grab that stack of papers, I thumb through it. If there's anything in there I need, I'll pull it out. I also pull out all of December's statements because I wanna hold on to them for a little bit longer. And I just set them back on my sorter. Everything else, I just throw away. Saves a lot of time and we wanna keep things simple. The bottom drawer that I have is my reference file. Now this is anything that I would need to refer back to at some point. It's not necessarily important household things that I'm dealing with on a regular basis, but they're things that I want to keep that I, refer, that I might need to refer to. Some things are just in alphabetical order in my basic green files. Some things are categorized if I have a few of the same things in, in, a, in a category or a section. For instance, my orange section is my event planning section. Now for me, I keep anything that have to do with birthdays, bridal shower, baby shower, Christmas, you know, different holidays. And if I'm doing a party or helping with a party, um, I keep, um, I can go to my file and I have old programs and games and ideas and things in my event planning section. That's just something that I refer back to. Again, every family is going to be different and you're going to have different categories, but anything you want to keep that you need to um, be able to refer to, you keep in your reference file. Okay, downstairs I have another filing cabinet and in that cabinet, one of those drawers is my critical file. Now I've made a folder for each member of my family that I've put in this critical file. And in each one of their folders, we have things like our birth certificates, shot records, SAT scores, any testing scores from school, anything critical that has to do with that person is in their file. And I have that filing cabinet downstairs close to an exit because if there was a fire or an emergency, I would scoop all those files up and everything is all contained and together, so it's great. I have another drawer um, in my filing cabinet that I call my memories drawer. And once again, I've created a file for each member of our family. And when we have special things floating around the house that we don't want know what to do with, thank you notes or birthday cards or a special picture um, one of our kids have drawn, we throw these, we th throw these things into their own personal memories file. And you can kind of keep them in there for um, a few years, or at least I can now because my kids have grown. But um, you know, even when they were little, it's just nice to have a place they can throw things um, in, these special memories. Now when that file gets full, I pull out those special memories, I put it in a manila folder, folder and label it, and then I put that in their treasure box. Now that's another whole video, but for now that's a place um, that I keep things and know right where to put them so they don't just keep floating around the house. Now what to do with your school papers and schoolwork, that's, that's on another video I did a while back. But this is kind of covered up my basic household files and how I keep things organized and simplified. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up and tell all your friends. But I hope you have a great week. And remember to stay organized. I also leave organizing and cleaning tips on Instagram pretty regularly. So if you want to check it out, just search Organizing with Tracy and you'll find me. Have a great week.